back. It's hard enough for a student athlete to balance school and their sport. Now, imagine playing four sports. This week's Marketplace Chevy Player of the Week does just that and excels at them all. You name it. Baseball. Basketball. Football. Track. And Nicholas Bailey plays it. But the Mansfield Jr. doesn't just play for sports. He excels at them all. I made all district and all state in football. I made all district first team in basketball. Plan on going to state in all four of my events in track. And in baseball, we're probably going to make the playoffs, which hasn't been done in a long time here in uh, Mansfield history. Why does Nicholas Bailey do it? In a word, family. My family's legacy here at Mansfield runs very deep. My grandfather coached here, uh, football team state championship. He coached here for, uh, I think, 40 years. And my uncle and my uh, father, they also play here. It's a legacy that drives the junior to excel every day, and his coaches have taken notice. We got a pretty good group of guys, coaches here, and we know that we have a small number of athletes in the school. We never try to wear any kid out. Nick, like I said, always have good energy. Uh, I've asked him, hey man, do you need any rest today? He's like, no, coach, I'm good. I'm, I'm ready to perform. Ready to perform for the Mansfield community and to honor his family's legacy. It's very important to me because it's, it's not, it's about how you carry yourself because I want to honor them with everything because they gave me everything. So I want to honor them with everything. For Nicholas Bailey's stellar junior year, he's our player of the week. Now, if you want to submit a player for player of the week, just email us at sports at ktalnews.tv or DM us on Facebook or Twitter at KTAL Sports. Just give us the player's name, school, and a little bit about why they deserve the award. A new era of Bulldog basketball began this week. Louisiana Tech introducing Talbot Hester as their next head men's basketball coach. Our John Sartori was there with the story. Behind me is Talvin Hester's new workplace. It's a familiar one for him. He was an assistant at Tech from 2018 to 2021, but now he's the man in charge. Introduced as the 19th head coach in Louisiana Tech basketball history, and after 20 years as an assistant, 20 years being doubted, his dream has finally come true. I was told that I would never be a Division I coach. That's a far-fetched dream as a JUCO guy. And then to be standing here, I proved them wrong. I was told when I was at Prairie View A&M as an assistant that those coaches don't get out of the swag. And I did get out of the swag. I was told when I was at some smaller programs that, oh, man, it's hard to get to the Big 12. And I got to the Big 12 and went to the Sweet 16. So I don't like being told what I can't do. Fresh off a Sweet 16 appearance as an assistant at Texas Tech, the Bulldogs will play a hard-nosed brand of basketball which fits their new leader perfectly. The guy who got it out of the mud, like they say, you know, he came from a Division III junior college and worked pretty much at every level of Division I that, that you can imagine uh, to work my way up to becoming a head coach. Uh, I, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I didn't come from coaching royalty. I just worked for a lot of the royalty by working my way in. In Hester's three seasons on the bench in Ruston, the Bulldogs went 45 and three inside the Thomas Assembly Center. And if today is any indication, it's going to be tough for opponents to change that trend with Hester at the helm. Reporting in Ruston, I'm John Sartori. Coming up.